Hey, it's Neil Parfit here. I'm just out in the studio finally, and uh, I've been playing more with the uh, the greens unit, and uh, been having some fun. I recorded a bowed instrument uh, for about two minutes, give or take, and I have it going through the greens. My Volt Pro Octave is my keyboard, and what else do I have? The speed I have set halfway, and just so I have some more flexibility down here. And my start time is controlled by my mod wheel of the grain position. Uh, my duration of the grain is being swept by a really slow built-in triangle oscillator running at 0 0.078 hertz. Uh, I have a pan of the grains that are randomly going based on an internal pink noise. I have a sample and hold right after it being triggered a little bit slower. And then I have an envelope follower after that to sort of smooth out the transitions. And then I have a limiter on top of that, cranking the gain and capping the uh, setting. So basically I just have like this nice big random waveform just modulating that pan. And after that, I have a few delays. My delays are being slowly swept by really slow sine wave oscillators all on the inside. And let's take a listen. So, here we go. And because I have the, uh, the Volt Pro Octave set to my keyboard, I can play these grains. They sound really cool. I can't believe this is all just coming out of this thing. It sounds so neat. So this wheel is cycling through the waveform position of the entire file, which is about a minute 30. So you can sort of lock onto some interesting parts. There's a sort of a grindy string moment. It sounds so cool. I guess that's a really lame word to say, but... Uh, This module's so amazing for sound design work. I love it. I feel like the uh, the grains module has really stepped this up for me, anyway. And what I can do in traditional 301 form is, let's say the start position. Like anything else, there's my external source. But if I use a mixer. I can add it, I can introduce another CV signal within. So I can add this really slow sine wave oscillator. And that will gently sweep the start position of the grain on that file. So it's not a static sound anymore. Weird. Sometimes you just don't, you don't know what you're going to get. But it's cool. Like, I mean, you won't be able to hear it in this video, but uh, that stereo spread is giving me a nice, diverse stereo field, which sounds really nice in here anyway. And uh, hopefully my client likes this as well. But the only uh, module I'm using today for all this is just the 301. I mean, it's going into a performance mixer, but it's loaded as stereo out into my system, and that's it. This thing sounds great. Anyway, I guess this wasn't really. Uh, a video explaining anything, but uh, just sharing some uh, more application ideas for uh, this module and, you know, what you can do with it. All right, take it easy. Bye.